All right, now let me go back to the president. I want to play for you, Governor Christie, three clips. The first one is a compilation from the night, the, the day after the Benghazi attacks in the Rose Garden. The second two from the last two days. First, this is the president referring to the video and then to terrorism in the Rose Garden. It's a compilation. We edited it down. It's 45 seconds. Cut number one. Since our founding, the United States has been a nation that respects all faiths. We reject all efforts to denigrate the religious beliefs of others. But there is absolutely no justification to this type of senseless violence. None. The world must stand together to unequivocally reject these brutal acts. No acts of terror will ever shake the resolve of this great nation, alter that character, or eclipse the light of the values that we stand for. So that was after Benghazi. On Wednesday night, he sat down with Nora O'Donnell, and here's what the president said on Wednesday night. Well, we don't know that much yet. It's still an active situation. FBI is on the ground uh, offering assistance to local officials as they need it. Uh, It does appear that there are going to be some casualties. And... uh, you know, obviously our, our hearts go out to the victims and, and, and the families. The one thing we do know is that uh, you know, we have a pattern now of, of mass shootings in this country that uh, has no parallel anywhere else in the world. And there's some steps we could take not to eliminate every one of these mass shootings, uh, but uh, to improve the odds that uh, they don't happen as frequently. Uh, common sense, gun safety laws. Uh, stronger background checks. And then this is what he said in the Oval Office yesterday, Governor Christie. It is possible that this was terrorist related, but we don't know. Uh, It's also possible that this was workplace related. Uh, And until uh, the FBI has been able to conduct uh, what are going to be a large number of interviews, uh, until we understand uh, the nature of uh, the workplace relationship between uh, the individual and uh, his superiors because he worked uh, with the organization where uh, this terrible shooting took place uh, until uh, all the social media and electronic information has been exploited. We're just not going to be able to answer uh, those questions. Now, Governor Christie, I, I'm not a prosecutor, and I didn't stay at a Holiday Inn, but I did serve in the counterintelligence special assistant job to Bill Smith and Ed Meese, and I know pattern in practice when I hear it. He has a pattern of trying to reshape the narrative. Do you agree or disagree with that? Well, of course he does. Be- to fit his liberal, anti-Second Amendment, confiscate guns agenda. And that's what this is about. Now, now you know, the president wanted to be careful about calling it terrorism. But on the very first day, he was more than happy to say this is about having more common sense gun laws. Well, does he really think today that common sense gun laws would have prevented terrorists from attacking that site? Does he really think terrorists are going to wait for a background check? Does he? I mean, we know these folks own these guns legally, but as the terrorist threat grows even larger, uh, this is the naivete. And by the way, the outrageous liberal agenda that both he and Hillary Clinton pursued. They wanted to manipulate this tragedy for their own purposes to put forward their anti-Second Amendment agenda. Uh, there's, there was no proof that this was a traditional mass shooting right from the beginning. Tactical gear and semi-automatic weapons that these folks had, and then later on, the explosives in the truck and all the rest screamed of terrorism. But there's, you know, you remember, this is the White House that... That, uh, that said that a crisis is an awful thing to waste. Um, this is their attitude. Any crisis that occurs, if they can use it to, per, to uh, put forward uh, a greater uh, effort on their liberal agenda, they do it.